Hi, today we are going to see about a library called as Argumenter for machine learning. Now, uh, if you want to create a very good model, you need a very large data set. Suppose you have a very small data set and you create a model out of it, the model will be overfitting. Now, what is overfitting? Uh, overfitting is the model performs uh, very good on training data set. It gives you a good accuracy in training data set. And in the testing data set or when you test with an unknown image, the accuracy of your model will drop down uh, to a great extent. That is called as overfitting. So always your machine learning model needs a very large data set. So before you start creating the model, make sure your data set is very large. Now, there is a library called as Argumenter, which help you to do the uh, image argumentation. So mostly you would have done image argumentation. Uh, mostly we will use um, uh, image data generator uh, method to do augmentation. Now, uh, in this method, if you see, suppose you have an image. OK, you cannot suppose you have only one image and you cannot train your machine learning model with that one image. So you have to increase your samples. So what all you can do to your image is you can zoom your image, you can rotate your image, you can increase uh, the brightness of your image, decrease the brightness of your image, or you can add some distortions to your image. So you uh, uh, do various operations on your image and try to increase the number of samples. OK, uh, so uh, here is the uh, example of um, image augmentation. Now, image augmentation can be done uh, by calling a simple uh, method called uh, image data generator. And then you have to specify what are the operations that you have to perform on the images. Now, uh, what is the uh, drawback of this method? The drawback of this method is you don't have uh, a full control on this image data generator. Suppose you want to generate, um, for example, you want to generate only 20,000 images or 15,000 images you can have you don't have any control on this image data generator similarly you cannot work with or you cannot go through the augmented images you will not have a full control on the augmented images okay so if you want uh, <clears throat> a full control on the augmentation image you can use uh, the library called as augmenter now this library you can see um, it's very easy to do data augmentation with this library. Uh, the first thing you have to do is you have to uh, install this library using a pip command. And after that, uh, you have to specify the path where your data set is available. So you can see the path to data will point to the um, directory where your uh, images are available. And then you have to create a pipeline. Once you create the pipeline, you have to specify the various operations you want to do on the images. For example, you want to move from left to right or bottom to top or you want to rotate. So various operations can be defined on this pipeline. So once the operations are defined, you have to specify how many samples you want to generate. So now here you have a control on how many samples you can generate. Similarly, when you start generating the samples, Samples, the augmented images will be stored in a separate folder. So now you can process or do some um, uh, specific controls or you have specific controls on the augmented image. Okay, come let's uh, do um, an example with this. Now this is my data set. So here you can see the data set is available in zip folder. So I'm just extracting my data set. And uh, this is my data set. And uh, here you can see um, I have eight classes in my data set. Uh, now, the first thing I want to do, step one, I have to install the Argumenter library. The second thing I have to do is I have to create a, a pipeline. So the pipeline will point to the location of my data set. Now, this is my data set. So it's point to the location of my data set. So it, now you can see I have 8000 images in my data set. Now, when I create this pipeline, you can see uh, the augmented images will be generated in the same folder. Um, uh, with the folder name output. So your augmented images will be stored in a separate folder called as output folder. Okay, and the next step I want to do is I have to define the operations on the uh, pipeline. So what are the operations I want to perform? So I can uh, rotate my image, I can zoom my image. So if you want to rotate, you have to tell what is the probability. Now here I have 8,000 images. Uh, I just want to generate only 10,000 samples. So uh, based on the probability, these operations will be performed. So on all the images, you will not do rotation and zoom. Instead, based on the probability, if the probability is a high, you can be sure that this operation will be performed on all the images. If the probability is low, uh, then uh, this operation will be performed with uh, low probability on the image. 
okay so you have to define the probability and you have to specify what operation you have to perform on this uh, pipeline once this is done now you can generate the samples okay so this step will generate the sample um, uh, so when you click on this one you can see uh, it will be processed and all the augmented images will be stored in a folder called as output so here you can see all the augmented images are generated on this folder so once my image is augmented the next step that i have to do is i have to split my images into testing and training data set so in one of my video i have specified the method to divide your data set into training testing and validation using um, a split folder method you have various methods to divide your data set into uh, training and uh, testing so in this example uh, you see i have used image data set from directory method to divide the data set into training and validation so in this method you have to specify what should be your validation ratio so i have used 80 20 so uh, here 80 percentage will be used for training and 20 percentage will be used for uh, validation so initially before augmentation the number of samples we had is 8000 images now after um, uh, data augmentation you can see there are 10000 images in that 8000 that is 80 percentage is for training and uh, 20 percentage 2000 is for validation so hope you enjoy the session about uh, image augmentation so stay tuned uh, for um, a similar session on deep learning. Thank you for listening.